Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BJ Tech News, and today is actually a video request. Today's video request uh, comes from a user that replied to one of my MDT videos, and he wanted to learn or know how to do an offline domain join within MDT. Now, offline domain join, uh, I'm going to break this down into two parts. The first part, I'm going to show you guys how to provision a new computer as well as uh, do it manually. And the second part, I'm going to show you how to do the offline domain join automatically using a, a tool that I'm going to show you with NDT to do everything all together in one shot. Now, with with this, you get the possibility to join a computer or member server to the domain, even if the computer server currently isn't connected to the domain. Now, you might say to yourself, why do I need this? You might, uh, well, a lot of IT people are not normally 24-7 in-house, so uh, if you're dealing with a remote technician, they probably need to do a VPN connection to the network, or you have to do, or you got to do other ways to get into the network and do a domain join. So I'm going to show you guys how to do a offline domain join. Now, first thing that you need to do, my environment is I have my domain controller, virtualization, I got everything virtual. I have a VM right here which is not authenticated so I probably need to kill this virtual machine because it's not licensed. What you want to do is you want to run command prompt as an administrator. Now the machine that you're running this command to provision a new computer, you need to have this machine part of the main. Let me do it, let me say that again. The machine that you're using has to be part of the domain to do the provisioning of the new computer. You're basically creating a text file okay you're creating a text file that you're gonna need and that text file has all the information for another machine an offline machine to add to the domain now the command that you need to do is djoin exe and I'm gonna do a forward slash question mark now Windows 7 Windows Server 2008 R2 and I believe Windows 8 has this command built in if it's built in, you hit enter, you get you get all the attributes and what how to use it. Let me close this. As you can see. Okay. So the command that you need to do to provision a new computer would be djoin.exe forward slash provision uh, slash domain. And domain would be your domain, your actual domain space machine I'm gonna give this machine I don't know BJ test okay forward slash save file and then you need to tell it where you want the file to be saved I'm gonna drop it into the C drive remember I'm running this command prop as an administrator so I shouldn't have any problems hit enter and Oh, BJ test already exists, so let me do that one more time. I think because I tested it out before, so let's go BJ test 01. I'm gonna enter. And if everything goes well, is you get a success. Successfully, duh. Uh, let's go to start, hit a computer. Uh, C drive and I should have that text file if you double click on that text file you're gonna see a lot of gibberish that this gibberish is only gibberish that the D join could read from now how to do this how to manually do it offline demo, domain join now to do it manually I'm gonna do a CLS to clear this out and to do it manually you do a D join dot exe for for slash requests Ah. Spell request right. Request O D J forward slash load profile and the location of the profile and the name of it forward slash Windows path C colon windows um capital what w i don't think it matters and once you do that you hit enter on the next reboot the computer will be joined to the domain 
So you could run this as the last step of your preparation. But uh, my user wants to know how to do this with MDT. So I'm gonna do this on part two because uh, I gotta prep up my MDT and make sure my MDT is up to par. And uh, I, hopefully you find this informative and please leave comments, like it, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.